What's up guys, this is What Is Hip, and we are in for a very special game number three of uh, the Dota 2 Staff Cup. And here's the good news about the, level, the game number three. It has the new patch on it, so it's 6.75. You'll notice we already have a pick on the board with, uh, with only two bands. With me is Owie2000 from Team Dignitas, and we're looking forward to a very unconventional game here. Um... <laughs> Well, Darkseer is picked. No Naga. The D Naga, Naga Darkseer thing does not work anymore. Um, Naga also has a huge nerf. I imagine if they actually want to win, they might, like, avoid the heroes that got drastic changes. But maybe not. Come on, Batrider, Alchemist. Do it. Do it. You'll, you won't do right it. Right here. Right no here. Events. And no Doombringer. Events. And Doombringer. I actually still don't think Doom's that good. <laughs> He's okay, I mean. He has very specific uses, I think. Like, He's such a boring hero, though. I don't want him to be in. Well, he can still stomp at level 1. Uh, yeah, it costs too much money, Oh, though. what? A... What, are these, what are these picks? Annie Mage. What the frick? Pick someone cool. Like Alchemist. Alchemist is a stomp anti Mage. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, just pick him. Like... Just do it. This guy's dumb. <laughs> he has an AoE stun for the Darkseer vacuum. Like, how good is that? You might as well just yeah, it's out. amazing. It's clearly amazing. I hope they do it. Oh my god. I'll legitimately say Alchemist is really strong right now with those changes. Yeah, he's gonna be really good. I don't think they He's him. really, really strong. I bet if there's if there's someone on this that, uh, someone on the manager team that knows how to play Alchemist before and liked him, they're gonna be screaming right now for Alchemist. And they pick up Rubik. An alchemist! And, and, hopefully alchemist. Oh, Spear Breaker and Trion. Yeah, I mean, both those, are awesome those two changes. heroes are ridiculous. Like, Trial Protector and Spear Breaker. Actually, Spear Breaker, I think, is legit. <laughs> if you max on your bash, you can do like a 300 damage nuke during charge to anyone you go through. I hope someone picks Shadow Fiend, too. Oh, yeah, Shadow The new Shadow Fiend all is so good! <laughs> I'm My so team's excited. gonna shadow fiend every game. <laughs> every the only problem game. is that Spirit Breaker is gonna stomp him. Like he's so easy to gank, and Spirit Breaker's just gonna go kill him. But yeah, Spirit true. Breaker and Shadow Fiend would work well together. Yes. Yes. Trent. And the only way you can counter that is clearly to pick Alchemist. You gotta pick Alchemist, man. If they I don't care if you already have an anti mage. You might as well just pick him. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my god. Trent's actually pretty but right now. Yeah, this new freaking refraction, global it's, refraction. It's pretty dumb. It's, you got it's not even just damage that. Buff. You can heal towers for 200 HP. Like, that's so much. Oh my god. It's so good. He's really good with Darkseer, too, because Darkseer makes it seem like his ultimate does damage if you just Iron Shell the Trent. The, uh, the DC reach the cooldown of crap load on his ultimate, and the duration is way longer at ultimate, at level 16. I think the old one was actually better. The radius is smaller, I think. I think the old one had like 800 AoE or something, but the new one feels really small. And we'll see who the third pick is, and they pick Disruptor. What is, what is this? This guy's so dumb. You obviously dumb. need an Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hope someone bans Alchemist, that would be even funnier. I, I think I just leave. <laughs> in solo cast. <laughs> Bye, no alchemist, peace. So now they're gonna get their three bands and look at like reverted back. This is really funny. But uh let's talk about their picks so far. So we have the Todd Hunter Enemy Agent Disruptor for Ping Pan Pum. And I I'm so sick of that name for the managers. We've got Darkseer, Rubik, and Treant Protector. Invoker's gonna be banned out here. As well as the Windrunner. Did Disruptor get changed? He's just his ultimate does a bit more damage now, so it's it's actually oh, okay. kind of worth leveling, basically. So, see who the... Oh, and they should pick Axe, nice. too. Axe is so good. <laughs> they should pick everyone. Dude, Clockwork is actually going to be, like, maybe kind of good. Oh, now, really? I, I don't think Clockwork will be used at all. You don't think so? Oh, I oh. hope so. I, 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 I don't awesome. think he's useful still. 
bonus armor to 40 for axe what that sounds stupid and they inc and they buffed counter helix I actually don't like the bonus armor change it makes blade milk sort of worse on him and I really like blade milk on a hero yeah. like that but and now they're going into heavy reserve time to pick their fourth ban but seriously bat, bat rider like Dyer should pick Batrider, and Radiant should pick Alchemist this game. Like, legitimately, <laughs> they actually should. Like, it fits their lineup and stuff. <laughs> oh, hopefully they agree with you. I'd love to see those heroes. <laughs> it's gonna be a Shadow Shaman ban. He did do really... Oh, Shadow Shaman really just bad random saying. stuff. Like, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Just pick heroes. <laughs> pick the new ones. Like, why do you care about bans? No one knows what any of the heroes do at right now anyways. <laughs> oh, and Drill Ranger. I love Drill Ranger. That was like my favorite carry in Dodo one. And they banned Lone Druid, which is interesting because he just. I think he just got a pretty big nerf. Oh, the nerf doesn't really matter. You don't think so? I don't think I it mean, does. I mean, well, it's, it's like some bonus gold, I guess. That's probably. I guess that's it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much nothing. I mean, if you were going to kill it. I mean, like, resummoning implies you have an uncooldown anyway, so killing it doesn't really matter. That's true. It's only like 80 gold. Bit of H. And, um. You take mixed damage from when the bear dies, so it really doesn't do much, anything because he has such high armor. Yeah. And now the fourth, the uh, brewmaster and Pudge okay, are both banned. Why would you ban Pudge? Like, that's definitely not Alchemist. And they pick Tiny. Who? I don't. Did they do anything to Tiny? Tiny's just really strong. That's uh, that's actually probably a bear pick for them, Alchemist. <laughs> what? Toss cast range rescale from 700. And they just made it always 1300. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. T Tiny, Tiny is really good with Dark Seer and Tron Protector. Uh, but you know, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, Alchemist is just good. Alchemist is just the best. Hey, you know who shuts down Tiny? Like a Bat Rider. Bat Rider. Bat Rider. <laughs> Bounty like Hunter. Still. And oh, uh, what? These aren't even exciting. Can I all chat? I'm just gonna call these guys pussies. <laughs> <laughs> and Necrolite again. Oh, Necrolite is so much better now. Oh, okay, okay. Ne okay, I'm okay fine, with that. Fine. Okay, okay. Necrolite is gonna be so good. Now He's actually not that one. much better in all of us. He's like okay. He's like hard to kill. I mean, they he raped in the last game. Now he's just better. So yeah, could be uh, could be an issue here. The problem with Necklace has always been his sort of weak laning now, and that change really did fix it, so it's nice to see. Wait, is he going side lane? We'll find out, but for Pim oh, Pam Pum, it's going to be DK again on the Necrolite. Zero Gravity again on the Tide Hunter. Ash playing Disruptor. Imbecu on the Animage and Shiba <laughs> playing the Bounty Hunter. And it's oh, going to be. They're sacking him? Yeah. That's good. That's gonna be Break the Desk on the Rubik. Paisy playing the Darkseer. Scruff and Tiny Scruff playing the Wisp and Weppus playing the Tiny. And Too Good gonna be playing the new Terrain Protector. Hell yes. Like seriously, where's the Alchemist? <laughs> oh GG 20 minutes. And they're gonna be tri laning in the top lane here with this Animage. Shrimp Protector took guys first, and now we have the sexy new living armor. The problem right now is whenever a Shrimp Protector outs, like, Tidehunter's just gonna Ravage. Because it doesn't stop Ravage. Yeah, that's true. But... And I forgot Pick Screen again. Of course I forgot Pick Screen again. God damn it. I don't... Pick Spirit Breaker and Alchemist. They're good. Like, oh. <laughs> really good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus! And Paisy is gonna. Where's Paisy going? Double mid. Who's Paisy? The Darkseer. Oh, I think he's just jungling. Why no alchemist?
<laughs> Alchemist does change. These guys don't understand Dota. I was going to get it if we got an Enigma. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is gonna be funny. It's unfortunate. Only new, only really new thing we get to see is train protector, but can't complain too much, I guess. Ward does go down right smack dab in the middle of the camp, and we'll see if DK does as well in this lane as he did last game. Starts out with the deny, so so far it's going well. They missed the the ward on that. They didn't put on the bush, and they have the pull. Which is really important for a tiny whistling, actually. He has sentries, anyways, but. And, this, uh, um. Bounty Hunter should just be manning up on that wisp. He has, like, six extra armor and a stealth shield on it and a higher damage. He could just, like, whack him. Hit him in the face. Yeah, he could get full. Ex he, could, he could actually win that lane. <laughs> I would be impressed. He should just right click him right there. Like, why what's are you that running? Gonna do? Yeah, go hit him. I don't know. He's gonna tether you? Six, yeah. six damage is pretty good. And Tron's actually getting full EXP too. What a weird game. <laughs> and they're gonna have Darks here in the jungle. Which is interesting. Well, I actually I like that choice this game. To Darks here jungle it. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It hasn't been common that lately. Lately. Yeah, I mean, the smoke thing got changed. Yeah. I think you can still stack it and you just iron show the creeps. It's not as reliable, it's not as fast. But I think it's still better than taking 500 damage from hard camp. Yeah. It's true. He sh yeah, he, he oh should go God. stack that easy camp. Right Wait, on. what? Whoa. Whoa, they won. They won. Came over. They won. Where did Wait, that do happen? You know what died? No. Uh, but I do know that Break the Desk is one death pulse away from dying. And Paisy now is going to do some damage uh, with the Iron Shell, but it's not enough to go. Oh. Yeah, he right clicks. It doesn't go through the. Yeah. You can solve through Iron Shell, so. I'm looking for the courier. I, I don't know where it died. That's really weird. Who? Uh, it's, it's very sad. But DK getting dis getting absolutely destroying this lane against Rubik. Um, but he does not have a bottle. I think actually the bottle must have been in the courier. How did it die though? Who, sorry, who who doesn't have the bottle? Uh, DK. Uh, well, I guess oh, he doesn't no, have to no. he, uh, he only has three CS. He oh, got a Sobi mask. He's been busy killing the break the desk. Rubik actually wrecks Necrolite because Necro has such low base damage and he just fade bone him and you have complete lane control. Now, Too Good is hiding. And he's guising around. Disruptor going to stack that camp up. And that's going to give them a really nice way to pull that. Oh, they were actually going to pull it right now. I don't know. And this is trying to deny XP from too good here. And double pull, they're pulling the other camp as well, zero gravity. And Shiba at level three. Uh oh. The well, avalanche goes down. There's the sentry ward. Good oh, toss. nice toss right on top of the wisp. And they get the first blood. Nice kill right there by Scriff. Spirits, so strong. That was a really nice toss. Hit all of the all of the wisp spirits. Something that's sort of nice there is instead of getting the bonus damage from Avalanche, which is only level one, he's toss after, so you get a longer stun. I think that's the right choice. Two extra, like one and a half extra auto attacks from each hero is going to be more than a double Avalanche there. Darkseer is um sort of running around the jungle, not doing anything for some reason. I think he should be checking this. Yeah. Mud golems. <laughs> Poor man, shield up on Shibas now. And too good now, gonna run into lane, being courageous for a last hit, gets thunderstriked and hit by any mage as a return. And there is a gank coming up here. Zero gravity coming behind, but behind him is Break the Desk. Sal popped immediately stopped. There's gonna be a gank on Too Good, but Break the Desk is here. He might be able to turn it around. Nice stun. Too good should live here. And he's gonna make it. As long as no one what Yeah, he was able to use a uh, living armor on himself there. Let's see that. 
And he's like, damn, look at this regen. Oh, that was that was a, uh, a full headdress going to DK. How did that die? That's what I want to know. Tranquil Boots on any mage. He has a nice new model. He's a shiny guy. Too good. And they continue trying to get anything he can. He's still getting decent XP. Paisy, uh, pretty low health. Has a lot of mana still, though. They could have at least picked Shadow Fiend. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Fiend is awesome, though. <laughs> he's so good. Shadow Fiend or Alchemist or Batrider? Like, if you gank him, then you die. Like, yeah. ult you twice. I, I, if want, you get I really want to know if it's instant or if it's after one second delay. If it's instant, like. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that's stupid. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, so Tree's actually maxing living armor first. Well, it's a new ability. You gotta. Yeah, you have to. You have to. It's mandatory. <laughs> and there's another nice pull going on here, and let's see if Too Good can guys in there. But something to note is Disruptor has way, way, way less experience, as well as zero gravity. So the pulls have been nice, keeping any mage at level five, but they're not shutting him down at all. Just pulling basically. He's able to guise around the trees and soak up next to the XP anyway. The Seder, uh, oh! Twice. Holy shit! DK what just destroyed hell? him with his ult. He had, like, he had a lot of health. I'm surprised that that killed him. I'm surprised uh, Necro's so far ahead of Rubik mid. Yeah, he's destroying him. That actually might be the new change working there. Because, um, before, if Necro got low, you didn't really have a good regen option, like Death Pulse is... Oh, it also heals you more early on. Death mm -hmm. Pulse. Mm -hmm. So that probably helps him a bit too. And Paisy is super low, gonna have to be careful now. And there's already a buckler. So we're gonna have like a... Jesus, he has no boots and he's still going for... Mechanism first, too good invis up. And uh... When did Bounty Hunter die just now? Yeah, Bounty Hunter just died while we were... Shenaniganing around. Got oh, a uh, Reaper Scythe on Rubik. Ooh, that's that's actually could be very good. And Anti Mage is actually maxing Blink first. So I'm not too sure why this game. Yeah, he has a lot of points. Sometimes you will see them just go one, 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 and then get a couple levels and stats, and then add some more Blink points. Yeah, I like that build the, the best. The burning build. I really like um, the fact that he just went Tranquil Boots though. That's it's gonna, like, um, when you just have a plain battle fairy, you can't actually jungle. Like, you yeah, lose you need the calling blade, yeah. No, like, you need calling blade, some form of regen, and a battle fairy to really jungle it. So I think, like, uh, Tranquil Boots into battle fairy. Also, if you go Tranquil Boots, you didn't do it this game, but you can get the damage components of the battle fairy first, without having to worry about regen. That's another nice thing about it. Break the desk is so afraid. DK is just destroying him in lane. That really is what's going on. Zero I mean, the gravity. Rubik was doing well early. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, when he went top, that's where the lane just completely switched. Yeah. He's going to toss him up? Nope. And now there are a lot of heroes pursuing zero gravity. Looks like he's probably going to go down. My yep. God. Wisp going to get the right click kill. And Break the desk going to get a bit of regen. Hopefully, he's probably just going to have to go home. The eight minute rune. Oh, oh in. TP in. Here comes Tiny Wisp. And there's the throw. Death Pulse trying to do everything, but mechanism not up yet. And Tiny. <laughs> Wisp. Oh, nice gush right at the last second. Zero gravity. Able to grab the kill. That was unfortunate. If the Tiny had uh, moved through the tide or phased through him or like, just moved in front, he would have stunned him. Wisp would have lived. Also, Trunk could have uh, used his global living armor. That would have been really cool to see. <laughs> I hope so. I hope they do that at one point. That would be sick. So good. And there's the Ring of Health already on the enemy who is farming pretty well. 45 last hits. Not amazing, but doing well. It's been a lot I of pulling really going. I got Tranquil Boots. It lets him just like trade hits with the Trunk Protector and come out so far ahead. Zero gravity only with naked boots and sentry wards. DK now, um, with that death, is going to be a little bit slow to get that mechanism up. This um, no. bounty hunter should really just go gank that Rubik mid. I think they could get an easy kill on him. And you get track code and stuff for it. Lots of money. Man, he's going to track the wisp. 
Paisy is super low also. He could probably just go kill him. One forty two Janata hit. Yeah, that um, Darkstar is a really questionable build, I'd say. <laughs> like I don't I don't Surge is good, I mean, but vacuum's a nice spell. Yeah, vacuum's Am I back? Yeah. I'm back. Woo! That was almost really bad. Sorry, I like almost diced DC'd right there. I think this uh duck collection should be um Hold on, we just gotta reset the call really quick. Alright, sorry about that guys, my internet just dropped there for like half a second. I hope that doesn't mess up everything. Hopefully my broadcast is okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. The stream's gonna restart, but it's just my internet just dropped for a second. Uh what were you saying? Necrolite sort of uh, playing a bit defen more defensively than I like against Rubik. I think he could really just run up to him and death pulse him every time he's like able to, sort of deal. Mm -hmm. And now they're yeah, here, here comes this gank from this bounty hunter. This is so good from bounty hunter. And there's just go kill their man. Like that guy's dead. You're gonna get tracked. But what the? <laughs> that might have been a little, a little much. Well, in. <laughs> well, and there was also a uh, a tiny gank on Animage in the top lane with Wisp. That's absolutely great for them. I think, uh... I think he might have been, actually been able to survive if he went stats. So... Because he has like 600 HP right now. There's that 1.2 strength thing or whatever it is. It's really low. And, uh, so far, Necolite is doing quite well. Zero gravity. Using the Ravage, I mean, I guess it's kind of early, so it's not a huge deal, but... Yeah, I mean, if you can secure get an extra kill by using Ravage on one hero, didn't do it, but... Yeah, there they probably didn't need it. Yeah, They're gonna get this kill in the... This Bounty Hunter's doing a great job. Yeah, he's doing a nice job roaming around. And now he is quite dead. Animage gonna be able to pick up that kill one for one now on him. That's a good kill. And still no boots on DK. It's like, I don't need no boots. I have a mechanism. There we go. Boots. Loser. Don't need boots. And anyway, it's gonna continue farming here. Did they um buff how much mana regen status gives too? Yep. Okay. Cause it was like forty eight before I think. Mm hmm Now it's sixty per kill. That's stupid good. Maybe she can definitely come in and kill that guy again. He has a necro out up. That pulse and just ult him. Yeah. Boom! Right. That Andre is really doing work. Yeah, now he, he still has full. That's uh, three track kills already. So that's actually like 500 gold for the Bounty Hunter. Even though he's so gimped at bot, because I think he played a bit poorly. He's already basically caught up for a sack girl. And Tugit actually not doing terrible in this top lane. He somehow has 39 last hits. Yeah, wow, that's really high. I don't know how he did that. I thought with the anti mage going tranquil boots, he just whack him down and stuff. Yeah, and anti mage just jungling a bit. He really needs that quelling blade. He's got perseverance. He's only a couple hundred away from finishing up that battle fury. It's about right considering he bought tranquil boots. His farm's really good. And now it's just a matter of whether they can kill Paisy. This bounty hunter again getting assistance here. And Wepis is here as Tiny. He'll see if they can make anything happen. Oh, awesome! Oh, the oh. On him. That Wisp Tether. And there's another Ravage. Is he going to be able to burst anyone down? He has Anchor Smash. Paisy so close to going down. There's a living armor! He has the living armor on him! <laughs> yes! That's so good! That is quite That's good. so good. And now Tugut is going to die as a result. He was probably too excited about using that. But... I'm okay with it. That what a was, hero. What a freaking hero. Too good. Saves I think uh, Too Good actually could have lived if he just blew his out there. His out's so short CD, you shouldn't yep, really care what Tiny Wisp there. coming in on Amber Q. Are they going to get another kill? Avalanche on cooldown because they've already had, they've already taken down Disruptor. And he's in the air and they leave back to their lane and 
resume as nothing, nothing happens. But now Break the Desk is here. He has Gush. That's a nice ability. And DK continuing to farm. Treads up for him now. And he's farming extremely well. 77 last hits. There's the tower for him as well. And there's a lot of heroes that are farming extremely well in this game. I like the Anchor Smash on Rubik. If you have Anchor Smash, um, it's basically like 100 damage. Oh, wait. I can't remember what it was. Anchor Smash plus Rubik is like 70 damage or something. Reduction. There's one more damage reduction spell, I think. And then, oh, plus like Kraken Shell. Mm -hmm. Like, Tide takes minus 100 damage or something. <laughs> plus minus 40 from all additional damage above 100, so it's really dumb. And it looks like they're gonna try to fight this with the Overgrowth. And there it is! Zero no damage, no overgrowth. damage, but it gives the opportunity for Tiny to come in, so there's a lot of damage being brought out anyway, but they only get one kill. Not too bad for that ultimate. Only an 80 second cooldown. Yeah, it's actually quite spammable as far as ultimates go. Yeah, pretty much every fight. It's nice because uh, Wisp's ulti is sort of a similar CD early on. So you can just blow that ultimate, get a Wisp TP in, and get two or three every single time. It's a really nice lineup. And then you have Darkshire for late game. And the battle he still has level one back. Over. Only level one? I mean, I guess he's just sort of AFK jungling, but he already does have the hood. So he's farming pretty I don't, well. Like, Surge doesn't really do anything for you. Yeah. When you're jungling, especially, I mean, you mostly use it to escape and not doing too much of that. Living armor on Rubik, <laughs> who's invisible. <laughs> hilarious. That's a cool animation. I think, uh... This is... He is gonna run straight into Zero Gravity, who has Ravage right now. And they're gonna try to lift him up in the air and get the kill. Before he can use it, he's not gonna get the tether. Stunned. There it is. Finally, they still get the kill. The ultimate coming in from DK. Not enough damage quite yet, but Anti-Mage swinging, taking down the Wisp. And now, Break the Desk is in a lot of trouble, as well as Wepass. They take that Death Pulse to the face. There's another Overgrowth. And let's see if they can turn this fight around. There's one. Only level one, the Vacuum. Oh, Not getting too many. Living Armor longer. again! Yeah, it saved him. It actually saved him. And Mike continues saving him. Now they can turn. Animation. They're turning on any mage. Oh, no lift. If he, if that Darkseer had level two Vacuum, they legitimately would have killed them all. <laughs> oh, that Living Armor is so good. It really is. Oh my god. There's two people. It's just saved. Pizzy Surgeon. And there's going to be Wisp TP in as well. This could be really bad. Only Wisp comes in though. No other additional help. But they need to get a Tether on here. As well as hit all the rest of those Spirits. There's pro okay control. Looks like they're just going to go back though. Make nothing of it. Pizzy's out. The rest of the team has come as well. And Wepis has a gem. And is already building towards that Aghanims extremely quickly. He has 94 CS and 5 kills. He's getting really big. Battle Fury as well. On the Animage a couple minutes ago. That's going well for him. Nice living armor under Rubik. Always have to mention that. <laughs> so funny. And Tree's ult is almost already up. They're yes. gonna be able to take a great fight here in five seconds. And glimpse back. And it doesn't even matter that much that Weapons' health is pretty low. They just have so much birth damage. That matters. And that death uh, pulse. He's gonna mm -hmm. outrun the death pulse. He'll be fine. Death pulse is only a 400 move speed, I think. <laughs> he also. <laughs> <laughs> They're making sure and as well during the fight the overgrowth is used and there's not a lot of damage around here Though it's basically just Paisy oh. and they had a really really nice static storm keeping them all in there doing a decent amount of damage But Wepis comes back. He's living armored and there's another kill double kill for the managers as Rubik takes off the disruptor Imbq not able to do anything to intervene in this fight as they're chasing down Shiba the gem on Tiny is going to make this pursuit. Oh, it's pretty, he's going pretty fast. I'm not going to be able to get it. The track giving the additional Tiny's move speed. Tiny's definitely not manly. No man, no man. He should do that with living armor. <laughs> living definitely armor. could do that. <laughs> living armor just changes the game. And he's building Thonus Aghanims extremely quickly at 20 minutes. Already halfway done. He just has the Yasha. He's going to finish that up into a mana style. Most likely after he gets the Aghanims. And MQ I like that this has, uh, like, tiny health. He got the point booster before he got his Yasha, so he could have mana to farm faster. And stuff like that. Like he's nice almost touch. done with his Agnum's yeah, already. Yeah, that's really farmed. Yeah, he is quite large. Six kills and 100 CS at 19 minutes to 20 minutes now. Vanguard again on DK. Same build as last time. 
not able to make quite as big of an impact this game, but still extremely effective. And we haven't really seen him involved in a lot of these fights. There hasn't been the burst heal. And no. oh, Jesus. We, we that, forgot he had a gem there. That guy died. There's a tether living armor as well. Let him goes in brazenly. He's gonna die. This is what I'm talking about. The ravage is up. I don't think he's gonna use it though. Oh, he is gonna use it. Why would you do that? He's still not gonna get away. Something that we just saw there is that Tiny got like 600 mana from yeah. freaking Wisp Arcane Boots because they buffed how much the tether regen gives. Jesus. Wisp is actually really good right now with um, the 1.5x on the heal from tether. Yeah, look at that. He's regening like a yeah. beast. He's healing him like 80 regen per second. Plus living armor? Plus oh. living armor. Oh my god. <laughs> All the heals. He has a blue step coming up to him soon. Yep, he's gonna have that Aghanim. It's gonna increase the damage as well. Increase her ability to take down these buildings. He's almost level 16 already. Nine kills for Wepis. Going insane this game. More kills than the entire team of Pin Pan Pond. It looks like the managers are gonna be able to take down the X-Pros. So far, at least. I mean, Animage is not that big. It's 20 minutes. Only I mean, has I'd the like ultimate to point orb. out, like, one new hero versus zero new heroes. Yeah. Like clearly, they yeah, should pick Alchemist instead of Anti Mage. <laughs> Could have won. <laughs> Could have won. Could have, like, two won. radiances by now. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, man. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to mass radiances one game as Alchemist just because I can. <laughs> Not because it stacks or anything, just because I can. <laughs> the hero's so good. He's gonna have so much money. And Wep is continuing to farm now with that Aghanims. Still has that drum. Manta is not far behind. And let's look at the total worth tab. So, uh, about this tiny, who has 3,000 more than the Animage. That's a lot of farm. That guy is big. The Necro did manage to outlane that Rubik quite hard, though. Yep. That's the uh, one thing they have going for. I don't. He should. He needs to stop going Vanguard after Mech. Yeah, it's like uh, not, help, it's a not helping. Planeswalker that Cloak would give him more EHP than that against that team. Like Planeswalker Cloak Chainmail or something. Yeah, deal with Tiny and we'll see if they can make something else happen here. Two good guys up. Overgrowth ready to go. Level two this time. 3.75 second long disable. That's going to line him up for Tiny if he can get it in the right spot. Actually quite brilliant is uh, Leech Seed plus Wisp is going to heal for so much. And oh. there's some damage going down there. Ult is. a glimpse. And oh dear. Oh. There's the ultimate from Overgrowth. Wall. Toss. <laughs> Avalanche. So much damage. DK doing everything he can to heal. Imba Q not able to get anything. Disruptor, the only one to go down somehow in that fight. So many heroes, so low. But it's not over yet. The toss! He gets that one kill with the toss. There's a Ravage to try to stop it. Oh, Rubik. Oh, oh my god, Andy Mage goes down. The Death Pulse going to heal up zero gravity. A bit more, but this tower completely dead. Managers take three for nothing. Look at the that heal. Wisp was a man, he definitely would have TP'd into their fountain to kill the last two. <laughs> Tiny. And now there's going to be a mechanism up on the Wisp. Mech for like uh, 625 now from Wisp. That's so much. It's quite a lot. Yeah. It's half of Tiny's health, which he definitely does not need more of. Ravage already used. Oh, gets brought back. And there's the toss. He's going to go down instantly. Kinetic field. It doesn't matter. Two good news doesn't need to be in air or anything. All he needs to do is cast Living Armor. There's a TP straight in the middle here. It's going to be the Necrolite. He's going to try to do everything they can. They know this is going to be the end of the game if they don't. Such a huge advantage. There's a double kill for Tiny. Getting pulled Bounty Hunter as well as Tide Hunter. DK taking so much damage, he's not making it out of this alive. The toss, gonna be the kill, and there he goes down the kinetic field. Not enough. Imba Q taking a lot. We'll see if they dive in the fountain. They choose to back up and instead take the racks of the managers with an unbelievably convincing win. New hero's the best hero. Hyperstone on Wepis. And they are playing so well. And I don't know if there's anything that we can do. And there's an avalanche on Imbecu as well. He's forced to blink right back. And he tosses Tiny in. Oh, the cleave damage. Oh, enough to kill the bounty hunter. Lift it up in the air. Bring him back. There's the overgrowth. Ash going down. Static Storm not doing really anything. Oh, and he goes into the fountain and is just killing everyone. <laughs> Triple kill for Wepis. Baisy goes down as well. But the Rax is gone. The damage is done. Baisy buys back. 16 kills for Wepis. And, uh, that's, and he's uh... double the net worth of everyone, basically. And, yeah, he's, uh... 
pretty, 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 it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty okay. good. It's doing pretty okay, I heard. Yeah. Okay. And this may be an AC, most likely coming out of too good. Oh my god, this game is awesome. <laughs> this tiny already has an AC, too good. You have to get a Shivas and forced into it. When Tiny comes back, he's going to be even stronger. Ravage up in seven seconds. And, uh, they're going to go for Roshan because it's totally necessary. All oh, the gems on the gems on the tree now. Oh, they even saved the gem. Some quite good play right there. Now they're gonna be able to rush in. They can do this pretty safely with Paisy as Darkseer as well. He can set up a wall vacuum if anyone tries to come fight. And he may try to do everything he can just to farm, but with how badly that fight went, he doesn't have anything. He hasn't gotten any items in the last six minutes. One thing that's sort of problematic for his farm is that he doesn't even have a Calling Blade. Yeah. Calling Blade's actually really important on Anti-Mage. And that was that was an awesome fight for Wepus. Now he's got the Agonims, he's got the AC. We'll see if he gets a Manta as well. The Spirit's procking on Roshan, pulling him out of the pit. There's an overcharge buff from Wisp too. Yep, and there it is. Now he's going to hit so fast. Look at that tiny! Hitting for 300 damage on Roshan gonna fall so fast. Let's see who's gonna get it. I don't think Wepus really needs it. If he keeps Tiny attached, or keeps Wisp attached to him. Wisp takes it. Oh, fair enough. She's got lots of heal. It's the only one with inventory for it. They don't really care who gets it. And now they're moving straight down the mid lane, and I don't think there's anything that Pim Pam, Pon Pon, PP, whatever, can do to stop it. The manager's weapon is just freaking huge. He's 16 kills. Net worth ridiculously high. Gold per minute, 633 for him, and he's going to start pounding away at the tier 3. The fortification is used. Let's see if DK can make anything happen here. There's a toss. There's a bit of his health gone. Vacuum in. And there's Tiny now. Going to try to take him down, but stuck inside the kinetic field and overgrowth. Glimpse back after the overgrowth, so it's not really an opportunity for him to do any damage. And uh, now is zero gravity going down. There's so much damage. Oh, shit, a run. Run, that's a huge Brock man chasing you down. Ash gets vacuumed back, gets hit by this, gets hit by the spirits. And Wepus going to stay out of the fountain for now, but you can bet he's going to destroy Disruptor. It goes down. Center, central racks going down. And there's the GG well played. So the managers are going to win the Dota 2 staff games. And uh, Wisp Piney. It's pretty good, and with that they get a free TI invitation. No, I'm kidding. That, that was the joke at the beginning of the day. <laughs> but Q, gonna go down again and get hit in the face. Oh, he makes it out barely. Ravage, and now Wepus will win. Oh, shit. Oh my god, Wepus going so hard in the fountain. Oh, it's back in the fountain, kinetic field. Oh, that's... That's actually... Oh no, stay back, stay in the back! Oh, true can. Ah, it's back. And break the test trying to salvage their base. But there's nothing left. Wisp is coming back here with Tiny. Oh, Jesus! Weapons is full health! He went all the way back just so he could pick him up after he bought back. And there's a disruptor roll. Oh, too good. Close the overgrowth <laughs> on nothing after getting glimpsed back. And now Wep is just gonna finish the last racks, no problem. Or maybe he'll just go keep killing people. That's an option, I guess. <laughs> Tosses Paisy straight in the middle. Too good, the one doing the damage now. And there's the anti mage all not doing anything really. Tiny's still just walking around, killing people. Peeps will take care of the Ancient. I got killing people to do. Oh my god. This is hilarious. So, the newly strengthened Necrolite, not enough to overcome the living armor of Too Good. That's a, that's a secret. Oh, and that's the game. Congratulations to the managers for winning the Dota 2 Staff Cup, and thank you again to 4PL for organizing.
And uh, thank you to Aoi2000 as well as Bruno the Statman and Captain Crunch all for co-casting with me today. I'm What Is Hip. You can see more from me at whatiship.tv. There's going to be some more Ghostly League games coming up in the future. If you guys like me, please hit that follow button. You'll find out when I go live. Um, and you can see more about 4PL at 4PL.Dota2 on Facebook. And they also have a cup this weekend. And you guys can check that out right on their website. And thank you, Aoi, for coming on for the Grand Finals and a couple games leading up to it. Had a great time. Yeah, no problem, man. And I'll uh, talk to you later. See you later. See Bye, you. everyone. Thanks for watching.